Welcome back guys! Today we are going to tackle another issue and that is what if one of your fuses blow? How do you switch the cell? How do you even find out if it is blown or not? That's a very good question so let's start. First of all, when one of the cells actually do blow, the issue is to measure it up. You cannot measure it by continuity on some of the meters and th the problem there is that the current that goes from the meter and out will go through one of the other cells. This is a little bit tricky and to show you that I'm just going to pull this aside and I'm going to take one of the cells here and let's put this into continuity mode whatever house said as you can see it do beeps and gives here output so what if I do like that nothing happens but if I switch the cell around it will give you some kind of measurement about it so this is the problem for instance if you measure one of the normal here like that it works fine same here, it works fine. What if we take one of the cells here that is broken off? Nothing. But if we turn it all the way around, you have continuity. So you cannot trust the sound signal, but you can trust the number of the meter. Or you turn it the other way around again. Anyways, that's a little bit other thing. Today we're going to tackle one of the cells here that I mounted that is faulty and it's faulty in that way that the measurement on a cell as you can see is 2.4 volt meanwhile if I check any of the other cells for instance between here I have 4.14 volt so this cell we have here we could simulate that the fuse have blown and we are now about to get rid of it First of all, I have marked the cell on this side and I will be marking it on the other side as well so I know which cell it is that I am going to remove. And we are going to desolder the fuse itself. And we lift it away. Now the, the problem here is that you need to get the cell out. So you need to think of which way can I put it out? On this side or on this side, other side there? I can actually get it out on both sides. So let's do it on this side. And if you are using some of the other type of, of the bus bars where you have this thick copper plate, this may not work and you need to desolder everything. But on my design that I kind of borrowed, it's a little bit easier because what you have to do is break off the corners like that, it's very very simple and then you make sure that you don't have anything left that can hold it up now you need to take something that is kind of soft to push this out and I'm going to use my pen so I'm going to push on the cell on the outer side and it's important now that you did clean the cell And look how simple that was to get that cell out. So if you have a broken cell now, it's just a matter of replacing it. And when you have the new cell, it's time to get it back in place again. Make sure you put the correct way in. Like that. And if you have problem getting it in, it might be slightly off. And that's it. That's how easy it is. So let's solder this back again. And we take our little fuse that I did save. Turn it around. And before we do anything else, as always, I like to measure to make sure that we have proper continuity. 4.13, 4.15. 
4.15 so that should be good then it's just a matter of getting this in place and that's it guys that's how simple it is to switch one of the cells when they are broken or you have done something bad to them and you may wonder what do I do about those edges I don't do anything about it the thing is this one will be like this all the time nothing moving or anything it won't move easily and the fuses and the wire will keep it in place so nothing there Thank you guys for watching, if you liked it, please subscribe and, and like, and if you have any questions, put them down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!